let me ask you when last did you eat lafu well if you're forgetting about it consider this a reminder for you to try another swallow option and if you're hearing the word lafu for the first time it's made from dried fermented cassava and can also be called white amala so on my video on how to make long free amala somebody asked how to make amala lafu and that's the reason i made this video this is cassava flour you can either buy the flour or buy the dried cassava and take to the meal it is cheaper than the brown amala which is made from bodo making amala lafu is very easy i have started boiling water in a kettle and i'm going to transfer it into the spot and bring it to a boil please forgive my manners my name is remy and you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time i hope you join us by clicking that subscribe button the water is boiled now it is important that you allow it to boil let it come to a rolling boil now that the water is boiled i'm going to completely turn off the heat completely unlike amaladudu where you start to pour in the flour while the water is still boiling for this one you turn off the heat completely before you begin to pour in the flour as you can see the water is no longer boiling and i will pour in the uh, cassava flour and begin to mix the same way we do for uh, amaladudu but this time around only difference is that we're not adding the flour while the water is still boiling so i will continue to mix like this and add the flour if i feel that it is not um, it is not firm enough so for about two cups of water i use two cups of cassava flour for this if you like this video please hit the like button and you can also share with your friends so they learn something too I will continue to mix like this until everything comes together nicely. Remember there's still no heat required. This is what we're going to do until everything is smooth. This is looking good. No flour, no lump and everything is smooth. Look at how stretchy it is. In case you're wondering what it tastes like, it tastes like apu, that's fufu since it is made from cassava it is slightly sour because of the fermentation process it goes through but it is really very nice if you get to this stage and you think that it is too tough the the swallow is too hard for you you can add a bit of water just a little bit hot water so when you boil your water make sure you preserve for some for this purpose otherwise you're good to go if the consistency is okay by you you're free to remove it from the pot at this stage and enjoy with any soup of your choice. Look at the amala. It looks so nice. I love the, the texture. It is smooth. I enjoyed this a lot. Like I said, you can enjoy this the same way you enjoy the regular brown amala or amala dudu. You can have it with soups like uh, begiri, ewedu, or beata, a foriro, even a gusi. Just treat it the same way you will treat a mala. I had mine with okra soup and I enjoyed it a lot. So I hope you're going to try this recipe. If you make lafu or you're trying it again after a, a long time, I want to know what you think about it. Come back and give me a feedback in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Bye.